Can We Still Worship God If We Aren't Musical? Written by Jennifer Waddell, read by Laura Hopkins. Today's verse is John chapter 4, verse 23. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship Him. A few years ago, my youngest son said one of the most impacting things I've ever heard. We were talking about being musical, and he insisted he didn't want to sing or play an instrument or take music lessons of any kind. Reluctantly, I realized his interests and talents were different than mine, and in the end, I accepted his decision. But then, in the same conversation, he added something so profound, I still think about it all these years later. He said, Mom, I don't like to sing or play an instrument but I love worship. His statement took me by surprise and really challenged me. Can we really love worship without singing or playing an instrument? Perhaps Jesus answered this question best the day he sat down by a well and began a conversation with a Samaritan woman. According to John chapter 4, verses 19 through 24, the woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where we ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. With or without music, it is God's desire that we worship in spirit and in truth. Although singing songs of praise to the King of Kings is a beautiful act of worship, so is giving a cup of cold water to someone who is thirsty or choosing to forgive someone in Jesus' name. Worship is more than music. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 reminds us, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Our entire beings— from head to toe, are presented to God, holy and acceptable through the blood of Jesus Christ. And because we are holy and acceptable through Him, we present ourselves back to Him as living sacrifices. Our spiritual acts of worship, which include prayer, Bible reading, and communion with the Lord, may or may not include singing or instruments. I learned a valuable lesson that day from a little boy who didn't want to take music lessons of any kind but who loved worship just the same. And more importantly, I've learned beautiful lessons from Jesus, the Messiah, who revealed himself to me just as he revealed who he was to the woman at the well. For the woman said, I know that Messiah, called Christ, is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am he. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.